The correct order for putting on and the safe order for removal and disposal of personal protective equipment for healthcare workers in a primary care setting. For the purposes of this resource, personal protective equipment will now be referred to as PPE. Before undertaking any procedure, staff should assess any likely exposure to blood or other body fluids and ensure PPE is worn that provides adequate protection against the risks associated with the procedure or task being undertaken. This resource describes the required personal protective equipment for primary care healthcare workers in relation to the correct order for putting on or donning and the safe order for removal or doffing and disposal of PPE to avoid cross-contamination to the healthcare worker and the environment. The order for putting on PPE is for practical purposes only, but is less critical than the order for removal which must be followed. The PPE being demonstrated comprises disposable plastic apron, a disposable fluid resistant surgical face mask type 2R, and a pair of disposable, non-sterile, nitrile, latex or neoprene gloves. All PPE must be appropriate for use, fit for purpose and well fitting. Eye protection, for example goggles or a visor, must be worn if blood or body fluid contamination to the eyes or face is anticipated. Further information relating to PPE can be found in the Health Protection Scotland COVID-19 Guidance for Primary Care, which can be found at the HPS COVID-19 web pages. The correct order for putting on PPE. Before putting on PPE, the healthcare worker should carry out hand hygiene and should also ensure long hair is tied back, remove any jewellery or lanyards, ensure any cuts, abrasions or breaks in the skin are covered with a waterproof dressing. We will now cover the correct order for putting on PPE. Step 1. Disposable plastic apron. Pull the apron over your head and use the ties to fasten securely at the back of the waist. Step 2. Fluid resistant surgical face mask, type 2R. Place the mask over the mouth and nose and use the ties or elastic bands to secure at the middle of the head and the neck. Fit the flexible band to the nose bridge. Fit the mask snug to the face and below the chin. The mask should be close fitting and fully cover the mouth and nose. Do not touch the front of the mask when being worn. Please ensure that manufacturer's instructions are followed in relation to the correct donning of surgical masks, as this may vary depending on the types of mask used. Step 3. Gloves. Disposable, non-sterile, nitrile, latex or neoprene gloves should be used. Gloves should be selected according to hand size and should be well fitting. Gloves should extend to cover the wrist. The correct order for removal and disposal of PPE. The next section covers the correct order for the removal and disposal of PPE. It is critical PPE is removed in the correct order to minimise the potential for cross-contamination. Step 1. Removing gloves. The outside of the gloves should be considered contaminated. Grasp the outside of one glove with the opposite gloved hand and peel the glove off. Hold the removed glove in the gloved hand. Slide the fingers of the ungloved hand under the remaining glove at the wrist. Peel the second glove over the first glove to remove and discard as healthcare waste. Step 2. Removal of disposable plastic apron. The apron front should be considered contaminated. Unfasten or break the apron tie at the neck. Pull the apron away from the neck and shoulders, touching the inside of the apron only. 
Unfasten or break the apron ties at the waist. Turn the apron inside out, fold or roll into a bundle, taking care not to touch the outside of the apron and discard as healthcare waste. Step three, removal of fluid resistant surgical face mask. The front of the mask should be considered contaminated. Untie or break the bottom ties or elastic first. Follow this by breaking the top ties or elastic. Remove the mask by handling the ties only and discard as healthcare waste. The healthcare worker should carry out hand hygiene immediately after removing PPE. The use of alcohol-based hand rub is another option. Further information can be found in the National Infection Prevention and Control Manual, which can be located at the website address below. Thank you.